Hi there. My name is Michael Kaiser. I'm the president and CEO of People's Care. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm hoping that everyone knows who I am and that everybody uh, recognizes me. And um, when you see me um, in the corporate office or on the streets, please uh, come up and, and say hi to me. Um, I prefer to be called Mike. I don't like Mr. Kaiser. It makes me feel old. Uh, anyway, uh, today is April 1st, our 13-year uh, our, uh, anniversary birthday. Um, it all started 13 years ago, uh, back on April Fool's Day, 1998. Um, I remember the day as though it was yesterday. I was blown away when licensing called up and said that they were giving us our license. Uh, I thought it was an April Fool's joke. I started trying to open up Kaiser Home, our first home, um, in the summer of 1997. And it took until April Fool's Day, um, uh, 1998, to get open. And within a couple of days, we were full. I remember our first client's name was Jason Hernandez. And then we had many, many clients after that. Well, uh, you know, a lot has changed um, since we first developed uh, Kaiser Home. Uh, we've gone kind of from a mom and pop um, operation, a couple of small facilities, uh, everything's kind of informal, everybody knows each other, to this kind of big, uh, well-managed, uh, well-operated, what I call grown-up uh, company. Um, uh, it has uh, been a long road and a very exciting road uh, for People's Care over the last 13 years. Um, I think that I have been so fortunate in the people that I've chosen to help me run this company and um, get us to where we are today and where we're going in the future. You know, the last 12 months have seen uh, particularly a lot of change. Um, we brought in a new director. Um, I don't know if you've all gotten a chance to meet her. Her name is Catherine Benage. And uh, what can I say? Catherine's a superstar. Uh, anybody that gets a chance to work with her uh, immediately knows that um, she is a very, very smart, um, uh, very committed uh, person, and uh, we're all very lucky to have her on our team. Um, also, um, those of you that haven't met her yet will certainly get to know her because she's going to become a very important part of your life, and that is uh, Hazel. Hazel is our Director of Quality Assurance and Training. Um, imagine how much money it cost for me to hire someone uh, in a director's position uh, to be in charge of training. That really is uh, how important I see uh, training. Um, uh, I believe that training is uh, the thing that is going to uh, set us apart from all the other companies out there. And training really is the thing that people's care will give you that no one can ever take away. Um, and, uh, you know, knowledge and training are really the things that make us valuable. So um, I hope that you all really take advantage of our training program here at People's Care. We've put a lot of effort, a lot of money, and a lot of resources into it. And I think that um, we are going to end up with the very best training program in our entire industry. Um, let's see, what else have we got new here at People's Care? We've got a new HR director. Now, our HR director comes to us with a tremendous amount of experience running companies, running HR departments for companies uh, that are our size. We are growing like crazy uh, still here at People's Care. And with over 500 employees, and the likelihood of going to a thousand employees over the next five years, it became very apparent that we needed someone that was a top-notch HR director, and I really believe that that's what we got with Julie. Um, I'm sure that you will all get to know Julie over the next few months um, as you go into her department. Let's see what else we've got new here. Well, you know, um, we are going to be moving our, eight, our HR department and our entire corporate office. Um, as you all know, we're currently in West Covina, and that, uh, that office of ours, the rent is extremely expensive. Uh, our lease is coming up, and so I started going out there and looking for better deals. Um, 
at the same time, we needed more space. I was able to find a very, very good deal uh, on a property in Chino Hills. Uh, it was a short sale, and uh, the owners of it uh, purchased it for a very good price, which means they are able to give us a very good uh, rent. And so uh, basically, we ended up getting um, that that office for about 25% cheaper than what our office is in West Covina. Uh, it's a heck of a lot nicer. It's a brand new building. It's a lot bigger. And I think that uh, when you all come out and see it, you're all going to really like it. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see what else I have to, to, to talk about. Pardon me. I'm, I have notes. And uh, so I'm just moving them up here. Well, let's see here. Uh, uh, yeah, we're moving actually tomorrow. So um, tomorrow we're, is the big move. And I'm hoping that uh, you guys all come out soon and, 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 and visit us. Uh, speaking of saving money. As you all know, our state is in a bit of a financial pickle. Uh, the last few years have been a real mess for the state. And, uh, you know, our rates were cut in 2009. They were cut again in 2010. And they're likely to cut, be cut again in 2011. And I had asked you all uh, to please do your best to save money and not be wasteful uh, because of these cuts. And um, I'm happy to report that you have all stepped up and it cut a lot of wasteful spending. So I just want to say keep up the good work and thank you all for being very diligent in trying to uh, not be wasteful. Now, even though the state is in dire straits, people's care is not. Uh, we tightened the belt where we could and uh, we weathered this storm and we will be, uh, and we'll continue to weather it. Uh, we've, we've responded to the decrease in revenue by growing to make up the difference. Uh, our company now is stronger than ever. Uh, we have many projects in the pipeline. Uh, we have many projects that are set to start um, coming online in the next few months. And we have a bunch of projects for 2011 and a bunch of projects for 2012. This growth means uh, stability. It means security. It means opportunities for all of you. It also means opportunities for the consumers that we serve to uh, be cared for and uh, receive services from people's care employees, uh, who I believe are the very best employees in the world. And all of the clients really deserve to be served uh, by the very best. Um, so anyway, in closing, let me say that I'm extremely excited uh, to be leading you all. You're the backbone of this great company. I, am, uh, I wake up every day just so incredibly excited to come to work and to lead you all. I feel like I'm the luckiest CEO that I know uh, because I have the very best team around. Uh, from my, no, 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 from your operations uh, chief, Tony Keeter. Uh, um, Tony's the very best in the business. Uh, this guy is just, um, he's an animal. He's a superstar. Uh, his team of executives and managers and supervisors are really some of the best leaders uh, and, and future leaders that I've seen. Uh, then there's the rank and file staff. Uh, you know, our DSPs here at People's Care really put the word professional in direct support professional. Uh, we have the most professional workforce in the business, and you should all be very proud. Uh, I know I am. Okay, so now I'll stop talking. Uh, I won't stop talking. Um, every time I talk about People's Care, I get extremely excited. I'll sit here and talk about People's Care all day long. So uh, let's just say happy birthday, People's Care, and God bless you all.